Hello everybody, it's Jude the Exceptional Gamer here, bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 Zombies video, and in today's video, we actually have something positive to talk about, which I'm really excited to be doing. So, as you've read by the title, and if you, YouTube's on autoplay, and you somehow just stumbled onto this video and are scratching your head, then I'm just going to be talking about why the 9 Gauntlet mode is great. Now, there are a few bad things about it, which I'm just going to quickly clear up. You know, like some of the challenges, like um, build a thousand points worth, you know, in barriers. I think that's a, a bit of a yikes, you know, especially for solo players. That is a huge kind of uh, punch in the stomach, right? You know, the, there's a few other challenges just kind of dotted here and there, which just kind of make you question, like... Did, did this need to be here? This could have been way better for a challenge. As of right now, I'm finding it hard to nitpick the the things that are wrong with this mode because it is such an upgrade from Voyage of Despair's unsinkable game mode for gauntlets. Like, seriously, it definitely feels like Treyarch have improved on the gauntlets gameplay formula. And like I said earlier, some of the challenges are, are just pretty you know, yikes worthy, right? But, however, that was way more present, I feel, in the unsinkable game mode. Like, having to use the Essex model all the time, my god, that was just... That was frustrating. It wasn't even fun. And now I feel like we have challenges that kind of keep you on your toes, like even as early as round three. Uh, I think it's round three anyway. And the challenge is to not miss your shots, because if you do then they actually damage you. So this is, you know, not frustrating to the point where you want to quit the game since it's on an early round, so it's not as overwhelming. But, you know, it, it's enough to, to kind of keep you on edge, which is amazing. I also felt like in Unsinkable, you had to run back and forth a bit too much, and on 9, it feels much easier to kind of do what you want, but also be able to get your challenges done. You don't feel as restricted to your challenges, so therefore you can just kind of broaden out and, you know, go to different places that you want to go and buy guns that you want to buy and things like that, and it just makes the whole experience a lot more enjoyable, in my opinion. This game mode kind of brings back that old you know, kind of casual feeling you get when you think of COD Zombies, you know, and that that is something that I think a lot of people have been missing for the longest time, including myself. A question that I'm sure many of you will have is, is this worthy of competitive zombies and in zombies tournaments? And to that, I don't really have the best answer, honestly. I'm not too sure myself, because there are challenges. It is a speed run to round 30, essentially. But on the other hand, you know, there's a lot of RNG involved, and, you know, this this one challenge, which is, like, survive for nine minutes, which is pointless. It just, it holds everyone back, and it doesn't really do it justice. I feel like this more caters towards just hopping on and having fun and that is something which is really important for the the heart of the zombies community essentially and i'm glad that treyarch really delivered that this time round so admittedly i feel like this is probably gonna be the best gauntlet mode we're gonna get i don't even know if they're gonna make one for classified and for Blood of the Dead, I don't feel like it's going to hold up as good as this one has. Honestly, with all of these kind of core fundamentals that, that just comes together, this really does just make this game mode just fun. It makes it fun, engaging, and replayable, honestly. A lot more than unsinkable. This feels way more action-packed and... Um, just a bit more fast-paced, really, because 9 is just one of the maps with amazing map flow, and I I'm all for it. This is where it needs to keep going. In my last video, I said that this is just one little step for Unsinkable. Well, this is a huge leap, honestly, because this has done really well, and I have received it well. And honestly, this is one of the best things I feel like we've had since launch really i mean for zombies anyway so the final thing that you end up doing on this game mode for this map is you fight the boss that's in the easter egg 
in nine and the it is amazing that is the most logical thing to do and i I love that because that caters towards not only the casuals but also the hardcore players that did the easter eggs and stuff like that and they get that kind of adrenaline everyone can feel that adrenaline the casual players can feel it and the hardcore players can feel it again and that is something that we're probably not gonna see on blood of the dead i don't think unless they manage to do that again and they have that same formula but this it just worked on this map okay everything about that just works it only makes sense to do the boss fight and just win the map Seriously, it is amazing how Treyarch have managed to do this and implement the boss fight into gauntlets for this map because this, if you want to reuse something and, you know, kind of place that back in to the game on and, you know, put a twist on it essentially, this is how it is done and this really sets the standard for how to, to just surprise players as well as just give them a real challenge. I just really strongly feel like Gauntlets for 9 has just really made a lot of players in the community just have fun and have a good time. It's honestly amazing. It, we haven't seen anything like this literally since the game launched, and that is not for me to say that all the maps are bad, but this is making fun in a new and uh, much better way than they did it before in Unsinkable. And yes, there are challenges that, you know, we're not happy with, but it's going to happen, I guess. And yes, there are probably bugs and stuff, but it just doesn't really completely stop you from having fun, and that's what this did to separate itself from Unsinkable and improve on the formula. However, though, I feel like the reward for actually finishing this, I know a lot of people are having a problem with this, and so am I. You literally get a sticker and, like, a, I think an emblem and also a calling card. It's just not good. It's not really something that you, you don't get back what you put in, really. And I feel like a cool variant of a weapon or something like that would be great. Like, I don't just mean any old weapon camo or variant, I mean something that really sets itself apart from other ones and just says, you know, this is awesome and I got it by putting effort into the game and stuff, and I think that needs to be implemented a lot more, but, you know, I, I'm hoping it will happen, and if it doesn't, then fair game, okay? But, honestly, they would let down the community quite a bit, to be fair. I feel like it's something that would be really awesome to grind towards and work towards. I know I would be. Literally, if that, if that camo or like weapon variant, sorry, if that was in there, I would literally be hopping on straight after making this video and going for it, okay? I would not be holding back. I would want that. And I feel like that extra drive to play it as well as, you know, just it being fun, having that extra drive to play it, to, to get a reward from it would be awesome. Honestly, it's just game modes like this that really make me see that it has potential, and I think I might actually stream this gauntlet soon. Hopefully it won't be like the last stream on Unsinkable where there were so many technical issues, but <laughs> okay, I'll try and get past it, okay? Either way, I don't know if I'll definitely stream it or not, but I would really want to. But in conclusion, guys, 9 for gauntlets has done such a good thing it has done something amazing and despite it having a few little you know rough patches here and there it just does this formula of gauntlets way better than its predecessor and i am so happy that they, they did this i'm so happy they, they changed it in the way that they did and really revitalized what it means for zombies to be really fun again. That's not for me to say that it was bad all along, but it definitely made it more interesting and engaging, which is really just something that I hope that they keep doing because by doing this game mode and, you know, kind of switching it up a bit and making it much more fun, this is potential for them. This is, uh, like I said, a huge step forward and I'm really excited to see where this can go, to be honest. It really does fill that gap whilst we're waiting for DLC 2. And that was why this game mode, Viva VD Zombies, I think that's what it is anyway, 
is just amazing and I really like it. If you guys do like it, please tell me in the comments. I would love to hear a discussion. Or even if you didn't like it, then once again, just, just tell me. I'd, I'd love to talk about it. But anyways, guys, I'm going to leave this video here today. If you enjoyed, be sure to smash that like button, comment, subscribe for more. Turn the notification bell on too. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time.